Good day, everyone. Hey, welcome to the uh, Pixel Lab tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you exactly how to design this amazing uh, customized logo and how to design something like this. Without wasting much of our time, let's get started. As you all know, how, uh, let me quickly show you exactly how you can design from your scratch to the hand this is the uh, piece of lab interface just open the piece of lab and click on the shapes then after cl clicking on the shapes then come directly to relative position and position to the center then select another shape give it a white color then position it very well and cut out some parts exactly the way i'm doing it you have to follow the steps strictly for you to be able to achieve this particular uh, 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 design so make sure you position it very well to your own desired taste, exactly the way I'm doing it. As you can see, I already select a particular shape, uh, round shape, then I give it a black color, then I select another shape, place it on top of the uh, black uh, uh, round shapes that I first selected. Then I'm trying at least to rotate it very well and move it so that I'll be able to cut a part, uh, 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 a particular part. So after I position it, I will merge it together, then go to my erase color, then erase a particular part out of it, as you can see. This is the tiny circle that I really wanted. Then I will go directly to, um, sorry, I will go directly to rotation and rotate it a little bit. Then after that, I will go to my test options. Sorry. I'll go to my test options after locking the first steps. Go to your test option, then type Z. Z. Then go to your uh, font and give it beauty bent. Beauty bent font. Select it and increase the size of the font. I mean the test. Then go to your padding. Go to your padding and enable the padding for the test to be able to show us clearly it will be able to show the entire test go to your pdn and enable it then move it to the left and to the right then position it inside the half circle that is just selected after that we go to your sorry beautiful rose i'll change it to beautiful rose instead of beautiful or oh, this thing i'll change it to a beautiful rose that's the font I use. Then I use a painting to be able to uh, show the left or the entire left and the right. So after that, I have to go to uh, uh, select the shapes, as you can see. Then use my mask to select a particular, uh, uh, cut out a particular shape. Go to your mask and move it, the center one, move it to the left hand side at the top edges. Then move the first out. Uh, and down exactly like this and go to the second the right uh, 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 options and move it like that then you click on the out and click copy then move it part out at the left hand side and position it very well to be able to form the desired shape you know you want it look exactly how i'm doing it So do it and position it very well. So as you can see, you see the way I'm positioning it. So after doing that, then you see that there is a little particle at the top of the or the, what you just cut out. Then you can match a particular test together with it. Move it in. Then merge it together for it to cut out the little particle that will destroy that might destroy the shape. Then you move it out. Then you you reduce the size and place it at the middle of the Z that you first selected. After you are succeeding in doing that, you can actually lock it as you can see. Then you go with your right up.
You see, see cows correction. Then go to your shape and select a particular shape. I mean font that you really want. I choose beauty rose font. Beauty rose font. The same font I use with the zit at the top is what I use for the right top. Then you position it the way I'm positioning it. Then now we have to choose a particular color we wanted to use. It will go with the pink and black using your texture. I'm sorry, gradient. Black and pink. Then you position it like this. Position it to all and give it a stroke. Two. Let the stroke be two. So after that, you give it a color as the ingredient. Then the middle, give it a color as well, the ingredient. So what about the black shapes? Black check wood that was cut, cut out. You give it white color. Then now we are good to go. We are good to go. So as you can see, we're almost there. Then select a small shape like exactly like this. Position it at the bottom of the brand name. Then write the slogan there. So we're almost there. Then you position it very well. Give it a color. Exactly the same color you are maintaining. Then now do your bright up and give it a color white. So you make sure that you position it very well. Position your right up after you wrote uh, you have already wrote your uh, the slogan. You position on top of the shape that you cut out. Give it a white color. After that, we are going to directly to see with transparent background and do our markup successfully. So you make sure that you go directly to boot and you board it. Then increase the stroke to two So almost there. So after that, you match it as you can see the way I'm doing it. Then I'm trying least to see to see with transparent background. So after that, you make sure that you stretch it out a little bit to make it to uh, uh, be bold and save with ultra. That is HD format. Don't forget to save with PNG. Now we are going to go to our markup for to P. So as you can see. This is my phone exactly. I'm trying to show you. So I'm going to exactly show you how you can edit your markup on your Android smartphone without using a fat P. So what you are going to do is to click on your Chrome browser. Click on your Chrome browser. Then you type www.photop.com. Then it will load and show the interface as you can see www.photopi.com
so we're almost there so after that after it's almost load so you click on your file at the left hand side so when you click on your file option will pop up then you make sure that you click on the open click on the open so after it's open then you click on the file for you to be able to penetrate into your gallery where you save your PSD file. Don't forget to extract your PSD file, PSD file to your phone. Now locate the kind of your markup that you really wanted to edit. So after that, you click on it and it's loading. You have to wait half a more patient because it's not magic. You wait for the markup to be able to display. Wake up, wait for it. now the result is already out don't forget the next step is to click on the lay click on the lay you see the area why is circle you click on it when you click on it you'll be able to see the layer that make up the design that you're looking at so after the layer then you see the first option at the layer option is to place your logo here you see the black spot at the middle there is a black dot as well just double tap it for the uh, uh new uh, uh for the new layer to pop up why well, i could just just double tap double tap it yes we're almost there so after that you do that you go directly to your file again. Then you click open and place. So after you click on open and play, you import the design we just made with our PC lab, as you can see. And the step I use or that I took is very simple. When you double tap the word place your logo is, it will top it will pop up either one of two or two uh, 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 options. So after you have already imported you let will move on. You see the way I click is an idle and called icon that you be able that will allow you to uh, increase or decrease the design that you imported from the for uh, PC lab. You see the after I increase it, then I position it very well. Then you click on uh, you click on save with smart object. Click on save with smart object. At this juncture, you don't need to stress yourself. Just be looking at the face or at the screen of the computer for you to be able to see whether there is what for you to be able to make a reference to the error that my enemy a monitor at the end of the day. So smart object updated, we are good to go. So here yeah, that is where we have to extra uh, uh, uh that is where we have to be patient, extraordinary patient. Know that that will be any issue. So we are still uh uh so after that, you have to click on the 3D or the, the mock-up at the top, the way you, I click it, or click on the layer, so that when it's done processing, it will transform automatically to our own uh, desired test. So we we'll have to be looking and look at the result, how it will come out. You are still waiting for transformation. So what's the monitor? So now the result is out. As you can see, after clicking on the smart object, of detail then we see the result is out now i want to show you how you can go about with some crazy stuff crazy stuff to uh, uh beautify your design or make it standard at the end of the day so you have to click on the layer so after click on the layer you make sure that where I circle, you try at least to choose either that key multiply and so on and so forth. So let's choose one right now. 
then we look at it how the result will look like and then every day these are the ways in which we can check we can uh, uh, uh have a standard yes this is where you can be able to know how to uh, or manipulate or edit some markup in our uh, android for to p as you can see i'm trying at least to change those options to either uh, or either i yeah either there is a what there is a standard in what we're designing or not so we have to pay an attention and change all those area one after to, to the other uh, or whether there is adding color adding color that you wanted to use or there are some area in which you wanted to correct before it will be carried out so we'll soon be there so at the end of the day don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel if you find this video interesting and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you can be notified whenever i updated a new channel like this so i'm trying least to apply some effort by clicking on that particular spot where i first uh, or circle for us to be able to get everything so the next thing we are going to do after that is to click sorry i'm trying to zoom out zoom in for me to be able to see the effect of what i just applied you see it's awesome so i'm still changing to see how far almost there so the next thing is to try at least to switch and look at how it's a uh, uh, work so now i think this is okay click on the file at the left hand side then you click with uh, click on export as you know click on png and click on download so let's see the result and see how it will look like so thanks for watching these are the words this is exactly the result of what we just designed thanks for watching god bless you don't forget to click the bell icon so that you can be notified whenever i update a new channel thanks for watching sorry god bless you so we're almost done where i'm trying to uh, see with smart object right now as you can see, uh, after clicking the file, then I what click on export as PNG, then I save. Let's look at the result. The result is just this. Thanks for watching. God bless you.